Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical, and today for you guys, I've got a Crash Bandicoot discussion video. Today we've actually got something very interesting to go over in terms of Naughty Dog and Crash Bandicoot. Now, just before I get into this video, of course you guys should probably know that I do do everything Kingdom Hearts, but from time to time, I do pump out some Crash Bandicoot videos for the main reason being is a lot of us do believe that Crash Bandicoot is actually going to be returning. Of course, that is the hope. Hopefully uh, sometime this year during E3, we might actually get some sort of uh, an announcement or some news towards Crash's return hopefully on the PlayStation 4. There's just been so much evidence like backing up behind Crash's return so hopefully that evidence comes out to say yes Crash is coming back. Of course that is fingers crossed. Now in case you guys don't know Uncharted 4 is Naughty Dog's upcoming AAA game. I know a lot of people are very excited about it. However a lot of people have actually you know somehow gotten Uncharted 4 and the put up like tons of different uh, videos to do with Uncharted 4 and they're playing the game and all that, people who got the game early. And there's actually something very interesting with inside of Uncharted 4 that might perhaps point towards Naughty Dog actually getting the rights to Crash Bandicoot back or actually having full control over Crash Bandicoot. Now, the first thing I want to lay out is uh, Naughty Dog never actually had the rights to Crash Bandicoot. They were given the task to actually develop the game, but the people who actually owned the rights to Crash Bandicoot were universal. So uh, if you look at it, you know, Naughty Dog never really owned the full and complete rights to Crash Bandicoot. Of course, you know, it is part of Naughty Dog's rich history, but they were the developers. They didn't actually own everything to do with the property itself. So that's one interesting thing to keep in mind. So in Uncharted 4, there's actually a section during the game where Nathan Drake actually plays a PlayStation 1. And on the PlayStation 1, you actually have to play Crash Bandicoot. Now, this is not an Easter egg, rather this is actually something that's in the main storyline of the actual game, which personally I believe is just the absolute coolest thing. You guys can see some screenshots right here. I don't want to put the video file up onto the channel for this video, but you guys can see some screenshots. So yeah, during the main story of Uncharted 4, you actually have to play Crash Bandicoot, which I feel is very, very interesting. Now going back to what I was saying before, Naughty Dog never really owned the rights to Crash Bandicoot. Uh, at first it was owned by Universal, then was handed off to like Traveler's Tales, and then of course eventually ended up in Activision's hands. So it makes you think like, you know, how is it that Naughty Dog can actually put Crash Bandicoot in Uncharted 4 if they don't actually own the property rights to the game itself? So it actually makes you think that Naughty Dog might actually now have the rights to Crash Bandicoot back as it is actually in Uncharted 4 and who really knows, perhaps maybe this might be a hint towards Crash Bandicoot's return. Also, Naughty Dog is kind of known for putting their previous games as Easter eggs in their current games, for example, in The Last of Us, we can actually see a board game within various like different shops as you're exploring the game. That is the Jack and Daxter board game. In Uncharted, there's a trophy that you can unlock, which is a uh, precursor orb trophy from Jack and Daxter. But within The Last of Us and Uncharted, there's never been Easter eggs that point towards Crash Bandicoot. And I think it's mainly because of the fact that Naughty Dog never really had full ownership over the property itself. So this actually might be a hint towards Naughty dog actually fully owning the rights to Crash Bandicoot now finally and if so that is an absolute fantastic thing because if Crash were to return of course I know who I would want developing it I would definitely want Naughty Dog developing the new Crash Bandicoot game for PlayStation 4. However guys this is a quick news update to do with everything you know going on with the whole Crash Bandicoot situation there just seems to be like more and more evidence coming out uh, every so often pointing towards Crash's return so hopefully this year at E3 we might hear or actually see something towards exactly that. However guys, I've been Cynical, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.